Hello, YouTubers. This is Dan Curtis, or Eddie, as I like to be called. I know I haven't reported any Guitar Hero videos lately, and I know, it sucks. But I have been more focused on other things, like Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3, and a new Black Ops 2 coming out, so I might record some Zombies videos of that, hopefully. But tonight I want to talk to you about iOS 6. iOS 6 is iPod operating system, iPhone operating system, iPad operating system. It's pretty much the newest thing after 5.1.1. Now, it's not supposed to be out until this fall, but um, apparently there is a beta version, which is like the glitchy, buggy kind of version. Currently, iOS 6 isn't publicly available, however, I have a copy of it on my iPhone, of course, and pretty much I'm going to run through some of the new features with it. Alright, so, because iOS 5 introduced Twitter integration, everyone wasn't a big Twitter fan, everyone was still mostly on Facebook. Now with iOS 6, they've included Facebook integration, which allows you to say, I'll um, zoom in this, alright, so, oh, hold on. Yeah, message from my friend. Hold on a second. Alright. So, say you're bored, you don't feel like opening Facebook. But on iOS 6, when the notification bar you scroll down, and at the top, it gives you the option to tap the tweet, which allows you to send an instant Twitter, or tap the post, which gives you an instant post for Facebook. That is not all that's new on FaceTime, or on uh, iOS 6. And actually, speaking of FaceTime, Apple's site kind of lied. They just decided to not tell you all the features of it. For FaceTime, you can now FaceTime on wireless cellular networks. So, if you have the new, however, it's only available for the iP new iPad and the iPhone 4S. iPhone 4 doesn't have FaceTime on cellular. Now here's the iPad 2, which I'm recording this on, but thank God for me to have my before us, because he's awesome. Anyways, so FaceTime, I've actually tried it. It's not the best, but it's not completely crappy. It's pretty decent for being able to FaceTime on a lot of somewhere. I would still use Skype or Ubu, but FaceTime is just awesome now that they updated it. I wish it would update more for like the iPhone 4 and the iPod, no, not the iPod, iPods can't really connect. So, but yeah, it can now, iPhone 4S and the new iPad can now do FaceTime over wireless 4G networks. And another update for iOS 6 is a nice little app called Passbook. I still have no idea how to use this. There was an update for iOS Beta 2 tonight. So, on my apps, you can see Passbook. Basically, it looks different than iOS Beta 1. Like, there's a longer message here, there's little descriptions here. But, iOS Beta 2 doesn't give you an ability to add cards. Because, like, I have a Lowe's card that I've been trying to add on this. It doesn't work. Um, but just because that's not doesn't mean it's not going to be. They're obviously going to release more iOS updates for beta, and if you need to get a beta version of iOS 6, I would suggest going to, you now you better like focus because I might fuck this up, it's www.imzdl.com. I'll put the link in the description. But this shows you all the iOS 6 beta sorts of downloads, so in case you're downloading for like an iPhone or an iPod or iPad, it has a beta version of it for, it's, it's free, it's just somewhat complicated on a Mac to download, but for some reason like, all my other friends that are on Windows PCs are pretty good with it. However, there is one issue I suggest. iPhone 4, they give you two different downloads, there's one for a CDMA network version, and one for a GSM version network. GSM is AT&T's model, which is what I have. CDMA network is Verizon, Sprint, apparently 
Sea Wireless or Sea Spire. I have no idea what that is. Apparently it's in the South. Um, it's pretty much the difference between. So, if you have any issues of what to download, just type in what is whatever your company is saying. So, I'm going to put AT&T's, what is AT&T's network. It will, should show you GSM. I would honestly go into heavy details before downloading the wrong version because if you download the wrong version it will like update or there will be an error resulting in kind of a crash of your iPhone but there's other, way, other ways to get out of it but other than that there are a lot more features such as they've updated maps which I've actually had the ability to use this multiple times basically on maps they give you the same pretty much interface. Only difference is there's no a loss up here. Here you tap, you can do all this. Like I didn't want to show traffic. I'm trying to do this mirror because my iPad is being dumb. Alright, hybrid. So it gives you the basic hybrid. However, now a new feature. 3D mode, which allows you to see the entire map at a 3D angle. Another thing for, I would say, I think it's on the iPhone 4 and 4S, or uh, iPhones, I mean, I've tried this on here, like, I've asked Siri to, let's see, directions to my friend Zach's house. Siri. Sorry, I don't see Zach's house in your contact. Directions to Zach's. It's my friend Zach. Basically, when you do this, it will show you a nice little route. You hit start. And now, a nice little thing with this gives you built-in voice command GPS. I think it's only for the 4S. I'm not sure. I haven't tested on the 4. But I do know on 4S, if you tell Siri to um, go to someone's house, or go to an address, or say, go to the store. It'll give you directions to the store, and it'll give you point turn by turn direction, which is very helpful because I've used it before, and I like it, honestly. Now, it's also called navigation, so it's in the maps. It's like maps, they've merged maps and navigation. Um, let's see, what else is there? There's a lot more. Trying to figure out all the updates that I've seen. Oh yeah, so uh, phones like uh, they've updated the entire phone interface. Now it's white instead of black keyboard. Um, for it's in case someone calls you, like I'm not gonna be able to call my phone from my iPad to use it for but if I were to call, like it will pop up right here, like it will show up people, like the person's name, their picture, and it will say slide to answer or give a little icon that you find on a lock screen. So like, say so your iPhone's locked and it's got a little icon here, like the camera. You slide up and it will say, an item's request, I'm not available, do not disturb. And if you're not available, just you can send a text message. So like, like I'll sh I can't really show you right now because I don't have my brother's icon, but if he were to FaceTime me, I would slide up, say, reply with message, and it would give me an option to reply with a message, which is actually really nice, because in case someone is important and you can't talk right now, I just like, can't talk right now, fine, and send a message. Speaking of redesigned apps, they've also redesigned the general settings app, which is really fun. On the main menu, you've got airplane mode and Wi-Fi like before, but now you also have Bluetooth. That's because I have an iPhone. So you have this thing called Do Not Disturb mode. I've used this before. This allows you, when you slide it on, a moon will appear up here, meaning Do Not Disturb. And. You don't want that. So. Alright. Pretty much Do Not Disturb mode is enabled. No one can call you. You, you can still get text messages, but you can't be called. They also have a thing called. 
They also have a new setting called um, privacy. Basically, you go into that, like they give you what apps can use what stuff. So, say I don't want Facebook using my photos. I guess to, to, to like turn that off in the menu, in the settings. Let's see what else. Do we do? Um, they merged that. They merged, all right. Also for the four for the four S and in the iPad new iPad, you have to go into FaceTime. Yeah, wait for it. FaceTime. Scroll to the bottom. It's got you cellular data. And nobody FaceTime. I don't know. And I will not. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of ours. You can do shared photo streams, which pretty much you tell which people to send photos to. Not really that exciting for me. But maybe if you're like that photographer who has a family member who is like, I want to see you. Then you just click share to stream and it'll stream. Um, Facebook integrates your contact, your calendar. I'm not really a big fan of it because it gave me like a million one birthdays on my calendar. So if you want to turn those off, just go into the app and slide them off and hit update contacts. I found by doing that it will knock them all off your calendar. Um, the general bar is different. Pretty much they turn network into cellular, so if you get confused. Um, yeah, pretty much everything's the same on that. For mail, this is actually I like a lot. For mail, they've updated it. So instead of the little bot button here, all you gotta do is just like Facebook, slide down, updates. I actually like that, it's a lot cooler. Now, for say you go on the internet, go on a Safari. Yeah. Alright, so you got normal Safari. It's black right at the top, so it's not that gray bar you see all the time. <coughs> but if you turn it sideways, you have a final option right here. That is full screen mode. Very helpful for reading a long page, and you don't want me to like, have all the little icons on there, so. Right there. All right. Um, here's one more thing I want to show you before I go. They've updated. Oh yeah, the music. They've updated the music phenomenally. On. Oh yeah, they also. I have to show you iTunes first too. All right. So this is my playlist for my job. Or what's well, my playlist for my job? Right. So it's all white now with black lettering. That's like, it's the same thing, but all down here is white, up there is white. So let's say I want to do this song. Let's say, um, light step. I like that song. I click that. There. You can see, this is no longer blue, it's black. However, if you lock it and try to change it, it'll be like that. Bar buttons are different. The top is different. You got orange buttons instead. For lyrics, they still up here. That was actually really random. Sorry, son. Um, then they have also updated the iTunes and the App Stores. So, say you're in iTunes, the App Store, and you want to get apps. So, let's say, cut the rope. That's one of my favorite things. I haven't had it on my iPhone in forever, so. So, sorry, my network's slow. Alright, so you have all your apps. There's my cut the rope. So I'm gonna click install. I think. Alright, install. Uh, it's gonna pop up a little menu. Well, let's say, oh, hold on. However, when you. It won't leave the app, it will stay right in the App Store. And as you can see, it will. Uh, like I was trying to show you earlier, the app will continue to download in the store while you're showing there. And if you leave, it will also be down here. 
look different. 